Make Picture Graphs, Lesson 10.2. Now, if you haven't seen Lesson 10.1, the previous video about how to read picture graphs, that link is in the description, and you might want to watch that one first so you don't get confused. We can make a picture graph to answer a question. We fill the picture graph with the information we have, and we use small pictures or symbols to show and compare information. We learned in the last video there's a thing called a key, and the key is the part of the graph that explains the symbols or pictures. Here's our first one. Dave has five shirts and three pants. Does he have more shirts or pants? Now I know this is a very easy question, and you know that five is bigger than three, but I'm using a very easy one to show you how to make a picture graph, okay? We can make a black dot for each of the shirts and each of the pants. So here's our picture graph we made. He has five shirts, three pants. We made five dots for shirts and three dots for pants. We can easily look at the picture graph and tell which one is more. We can see there's more shirts. It has more dots going across its row, doesn't it? We can circle the one that has more. We can circle the shirts. Picture graphs make it easy to see amounts and to compare amounts. Let's try this one. Where the turtles are found? Our choices are river or log. And the key says that each black dot stands for one turtle. Here's the problem. There are two turtles in the river. There are five turtles on a log. How many more turtles are on the log than in the river? So we fill in the picture graph with the information that it's giving us. There are two turtles in the river. Each black dot stands for one turtle. So we need two dots in the river row. Here's the row for river. We'll put one, two, it tells us there are five turtles on a log. So we need five black dots for the column, for, I'm sorry, for the row for the log. Okay? We need five black dot, dots going across for the log. One, two, three, four, five. How many more turtles are on the log than in the river? We can easily look at the picture graph and see there are three more on the log. The picture graph made it easy for us, didn't it? There are three more turtles on the log. Okay. Now this one is about favorite fruit, apple or banana. Now each black dot, the key tells us, is going to stand for one fruit. Tala asked her family about their favorite fruit. Her two brothers like bananas. Her father and mother like apples. Her grandmother likes bananas. Her sister likes apples. And her grandfather likes apples. So we need to take this information and put it into our picture graph. So let's start and go one by one. Her two brothers like bananas. Well, that's two people. So we need two dots, because each dot stands for one fruit. So two are going to go by bananas. One, two by bananas, okay? We did this one, so I'm gonna put a little mark here so I don't get lost. Her father and mother like apples. Well, that's two more people. Father and mother, that's two people, and they like apples, so we need two dots in the apples row. So here's apple, and we're going to put two dots. One, two, for apple. We did this one, so I'm going to mark it. Her grandmother likes bananas. So that's one person for banana. Got one more banana here, okay, in the banana row. We did the grandmother one, so I'm going to mark it. Tala's sister likes apples. So that's one sister likes apples. That's one more for apple. Okay? 
All right, we did this one. And the last one says her grandfather likes apples. So we have another one for apples. So here's apple. Now, we can see which one is more favorite. It's the apple. There's four that like apple and only three that like banana. We can also look at this pictograph and tell how many people she asked because it would be a dot for each person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can see apple is liked more because there's more dots in the apple row. Which fruit is liked more by her family? Apples. Tala asked seven people in her family, so she made seven answer boxes in her picture graph. Let's take a look. She asked seven people, so she made seven columns of answer boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, the reason she did that is, what if all seven people said they liked apples? Then she would have to have room for the answers for seven people liking apples, because that's how many people she asked, just in case they all liked the same thing. Okay? Here's favorite ice cream flavors. We have vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and cookies and cream. And our key is that each black dot is going to stand for one. She asked some classmates about their favorite flavor of ice cream. Two children like vanilla. All right, so let's mark that one that we've got that one. Two children like vanilla. So vanilla is going to get two dots. One, two. Two votes for vanilla. Okay, that one's done. The next one said... Three children like chocolate. Three children like chocolate. So we need three for chocolate. One, two, three. So far that one's winning, isn't it? Okay. One of the children like strawberry. One likes strawberry. So strawberry's going to get one. And the last one says two like cookies and cream. So that's two for cookies and cream. Two votes for cookies and cream. One, two. So we can look at the picture graph and tell which flavor is like the most. Can you see it? The one that's sticking out the farthest? It's chocolate. Which flavor is liked the most? Chocolate. Tala asked eight children, so she made eight answer boxes going across. So she asked eight children, we can tell by the dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she's got eight columns of answer boxes going across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just in case, when she asked them, they all said they liked chocolate. Or they all said they like vanilla. So there would be room for all eight children to like the same one. See? However many people you ask, that's how many answer boxes going across that you need. Okay? Here's another one. This one's about the Secret Life of Pets movie. Bob asked six friends if they saw the movie Secret Life of Pets. Zero friends did not see the movie. The rest of his friends saw the movie. Now it says zero friends did not see the movie. So this is, did you see the movie? Yes. Did you see the movie? No. And this seems like it's very confusing, but what if it said one friend did not see the movie? Well, if one friend did not see the movie, we would put a a dot here for one said no, they didn't see the movie. But it says zero. And it says the rest of his friends saw the movie. So that sounds tricky, but what it's telling us is all of his friends saw the movie. Isn't that tricky? And he asked six friends, so there's going to be six people who say yes. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, zero answered no. That's what it's saying. Zero friends answered no. So we didn't fill any in. And he asked six friends, so we have six answer boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just in case, they all give the same answer. And in this case, they did, didn't they? So how many of Bob's friends saw the movie? One, two, three, four, five, six. We know it's six. And we can even write a number sentence. Six minus zero is equal to six. Six friends did see it. Zero friends did not see it. So six friends saw the movie. Okay? So when you have a question like this, try putting one there. Or what if it said two friends did not see the movie? Then we would put two dots here for no, wouldn't we? And then the rest saw the movie and we would have to subtract the two that didn't see it from the six. But in this case, they all saw it. So we have six answer boxes going across, okay? Let's try another one. This is favorite video games. Some first grade children were asked about their favorite video game and these were their answers. We need to put these answers into this picture graph. Tala said she likes Mario Kart. All right, so let's mark it that we got Tala and her vote was for Mario Kart. All right. Bob said he likes Lego Friends. So we're going to mark that we did him and we're going to put a vote for Lego Friends. And there's also Peggle up there. Dave said he likes Mario, and Sam said he likes Mario. So that's two more for Mario, isn't it? Dave and Sam. So Mario's going to get one for Dave, one for Sam. Mario's winning so far. Lisa said she likes Mario Kart. Let's mark it that we got that information. Give another one for Mario. Jill said she likes Lego Friends. Let's mark that we did her. Put another vote for Lego Friends. Ava likes Peggle. So let's give a vote for Peggle, because that's Ava's. And then it says Greg likes Mario. So Mario is getting another vote. Now we can look at the picture graph. Now that we've entered all the information, and we can see Mario Kart is the most favorite out of these children. Which game is the least favorite? Can you look at this picture graph and tell which one is the least favorite? Well, it would be the one that has the least amount of black dots, doesn't it? So that would be Peggle. The least favorite game is Peggle. It's the one that is liked less than the others. It has less dots, see? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight children. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight answers. So we know we did it right. Eight children were asked. There are eight answer boxes across in case they all have the same answer. So look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes going across. Just in case they all gave the same answer, there would be enough answer boxes. If we asked five people, we'd make five boxes across. If we asked 10 people, we'd make 10 boxes across. So however many people we ask is how many columns of answer boxes that we make going across, just in case they all give the same answer, okay? Our next lesson is read bar graphs. So now we're going to learn about reading bar graphs and the one after that we're going to be making them too, okay? So now we're going to be reading them. That's lesson 10.3. I hope you're having a great day. Keep practicing your math and I'll see you next time. Bye.